Good evening everyone and welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Now we just had our first run in with a real monster. It didn't get me though. I may be a little bit too cautious but he seemed to have disappeared after a certain while. He must have just been scared of me. He ran away just because I was far too... No, okay, alright, onwards. <sighs> I feel a lot better in here than I did down there for some reason but... I feel like that must only be the beginning. More fuel. Oh, I'm outside again. Okay, now the outside makes me to feel better. Now it now it actually does for once. Finally. Ho oh, oh. ho. I needed it to make me feel a little better. After that, crazy water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Too damn bony. It's starting to sound creepy now, friend. Daniel. What memories are you having? Mandisco, Meat Producing Factory. How many fronts does this have? My soul shudders at what I have seen, but at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Whatever you say, Daniel. Whatever you say. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised by the sheer volume of trucks. I mean, did they really have this kind of technology in 1899? I thought they barely had the first automobile out by now. But I suppose in this we have ghost children and pigmen, so maybe logic just goes out the window a little bit. Okay. I assume this is more of a legitimate front for my uh, workshop. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. And these fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. Aha, <laughs> pigs, <laughs> reference, solution, got that one. My nice. Dear man, how to break a cycle. You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. Unfortunate. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise Crap. now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Right. Free them to paradise. Do you mean kill them? I think you mean kill them. I think you mean murder them in the face, dude. Ah! Fuck. Ah. God. Damn it. Oh, flickering lights. Oh, God. It's a monster. Oh, God. Nope. 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 Eek. Sound like those monsters out of Sesame Street. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> okay. 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 These are some big wheels. Big wheels. Maybe that light's just flickering because it's broken. Maybe I shouldn't be such a pussy. Yeah, you can flicker all you like, Mr. Wibbly Wobbly Light. You won't have me. You will not have me at all. Uh -huh. Oh god, so much flickering. You see, and nothing's here. I shouldn't be... Should I... Oh, now that the flickering stopped, I'm worried. Well done, came. Making me worried about everything. Down or up? I'm going to go up first, I think. Considering down generally means to progress in this place. If I want to just explore something quickly I should just go up. Okay. Can I go outside? No. I thought as much. Get out of here, chair. Boop! Right. Yes, yes, machine. You can be cranky all you like. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed trough at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. 
We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms, and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lighting contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. Post-stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stun product upwards to fall directly under the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the haunch or the thigh of the product, and from this point we dispense with the belt, and in instead instigate a channeled floor which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and to run to the fluid collection tank. Wonderful! Oh, I needed to read that. Yes, yes, hang on. I'm not done checking drawers yet. I'm not done checking things yet. Okay, fine. Hear me, Mandus. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Oh. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Okay, Mr. Phone, Mandacy person, me. I assume it's me. That would be the kind of plot this sort of thing has, is that it would be for me. Ha. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, just a bit of lore. A bit of lore. Down, 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 down. That's definitely a monster sound. It's definitely a monster sound. Not a machine sound. Who cares? Man it up. Man it up. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah, great. Ah, crap. One. Number two. Ah. Oh. oh, well that was easy. Turn on the furnaces. I don't know why I'm turning them on. I thought I was going to rescue my children, not start up the machine. You know, I might just leave that door shut for now. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going to leave that open so I can run back and retreat. Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? Sure they are. No, of course that would be too easy. Too easy. Where are my furnaces? There's, I assume there's more out here. Piggy, 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 piggy. Well, that one's going fine. Even done half the work for me, this place. Uh. The pistons are silent, the plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way, I fear. The scale of these engines suggests a far greater work than is visible from the surface, so my friend must be correct, and the larger part of this plant is underground. We are close to the Thames, no wonder flooding is at such risk. Why would you design your machine such that such that you needed to have it running to get down the further part. What if it was broken because of something down there? That seems that seems odd to me. Well, let's turn this one on. Oh, I assume you need fuel. Take it. Take my precious bounty. I, I press the throw button. Apparently, I have the arms of a, of a tiny little weak version of myself. No! What do you need then? If not fuel, do I need something else? Do I need something else? Or do you just need more coal? Two pieces. How does the button know how many pieces? I shouldn't ask so many questions. Eh. Excellent. Right. Now let me out. Oh, hang on. I assume I've got to turn it on. Hi. Hi. Where are those levers? Eh. No. Eh. Eh. Fine. Oh, I see. I see. I'm silly. I'm si Wait, this one's on. Must be one more. Oh. <sighs> I will learn eventually. I will learn eventually. Here you go. 
Nom nom nom. Eat the coal, eat it up, eat it good. Boop. Yeah. The fires are stoked, assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant. I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates these pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Buddy O. Daniel. Clark. Clark. Clunky Boo. Clunky Three. Um, did I turn on a machine or did I summon. I summon a dragon. Oh dear. I think. Am I okay? Am I okay? Oh. That is an enormous piston. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Cool. Oh shit. <gasps> nope. <laughs> nope. No. Do I have to go out there? Oh crap. Do I have to? I have to go out there, don't I? <gasps> Where are you? Where are you? I don't want to be eaten by pig face, piggy mick, pig bubble. Pig. Is it a pig or is it a man? Or is it a man pig or a pig shit? Is he doing like circles? I can't even see anything. Oh yeah, stand by the only piece of light. He won't find you here. Is that open? Just, just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Please shut behind me. This time, can you shut behind me? Oh. I don't know if he was up there or down here, actually. This could be a good or a very bad thing. Oh, oh please. No, please. Man, man time, man time. Time to be manly and strong and- ah! <laughs> Oh, well that went well. That went extremely well. Oh, crap. Oh, penis. Oh, so much penis. Does that always mean monster, or just sometimes? I think sometimes. Which is worse. At least be consistent, guys. Oh god. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. Don't look at it. Oh. Oh crap. Oh no! <laughs> no! Yes! Go that way! Go that way! I'm over there! Oh shit! Oh god. Oh please. Yes. Keep going that way. Yes, that way. I'm over there. Yeah, I hope. Oh no. Oh, this is made of the no. Oh god, what is that thing? Oh no, no, you can't see me. Oh god, there's light over here. Shit. Okay, the light, the light does mean monster. The light officially means monster. Oh, oh god. The light is so monster. Okay. I'm sitting in the light. Why am I doing that? Get to the shadows. Where do I even need to go? Is it this way? Oh crap, please tell me it's this way. Please tell me it's this way. I don't think it's this way. Oh crap. Oh god, where do I have to go? I don't, I, I don't even have a place to run to. <laughs> Get up there? No. Okay. Uh, where's the monster? Oh, I can't even see it. Where is it? Is it doing circles? At least if it's doing circles, it's predictable. Where am I meant to be going, please? Somebody tell me where I need to be going. Oh, I think it's. No, I still don't know. Oh, penis McDougal. Many of the dicks. Is it round here? Oh, I seriously don't know. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm assuming the pig is going in a clockwise direction, so 
I'm going to continue to go in a clockwise direction in case that's what's needed. Piggy, 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 pig, 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 pig. Come out and play. Come out and play. Where am I meant to be going? Oh god, I don't have to put more things in. Oh, it's getting quiet. Why is it getting quiet? Has he left? Oh, please say yes. Oh, crap. I, well, like, hang on, I think I really do need to be going that way, but if I need to be going that way... And the monster is here... How do I get over there? Oh. I bet you I was meant to climb on... Oh. I just had to go through this tiny little gap. I'm so silly. Is the monster through here now? Or was he still doing circles at that other place? Oh, no. Oh, crap. Please, no. I can hear him. I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, shit, shit. Is he over there? Fuck. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I'm just going to sit here in case he passes. Yep. That's fine. Totally fine with me. I don't even mind. Is this light going to flicker? Is this light flickers? If it doesn't flicker, it means it's going the other way, which is actually... Good news. It just turned off! It just turned off! Oh no! Did he come up? <gasps> Shit! Run, 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 hide! God, is he coming this way? Did he see me? Oh Christ, in a bucket. I don't think that bit's shady enough. I think this bit's darker. Did he see me? I think he saw me. He ran straight at me. Ah! Oh. I can hear it. <gasps> no, no. No, no. Oh! 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 Oh, crap! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Please, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. I am not here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, go over there now. Oh, crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Run, 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 run. I don't know where I'm running to, but run. Not there. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Oh. 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 Yes, a note, please, a note. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bulge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. That was terrifying. That was bad. That was bad. And I fear it's only going to get worse. I fear... It can only... Get worse. Oh... Crap. I can't believe he didn't see me. I was so close. He was right there! And he didn't see me. Okay. I think I think the crouch and turn off your thing compound X. No naked flames. Okay, still in this part. I was in this part before, wasn't I? Yeah, okay. The crate arrived this morning and I had to deliver directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, though there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encased the torso which is deformed with evidence of substantial muscle mass displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery or was born deformed in an attempt to force his gnarly body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is I cannot tell but I smell the orb upon him and I suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. Great uncle? <coughs> great uncle? Is your great uncle... Alexander? 
or Daniel from the previous one. Maybe my name isn't Daniel. I've just assumed it's Daniel, so it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution, but here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subject of his experiments, but men are difficult to control, with, rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels, loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Okay, so they're pretty much describing the monster that I just saw and the body that I saw in the graveyard earlier. Also, I was assuming he was called Daniel, because that was the name of the guy in the first Amnesia, but in reality, of course it's not going to be him. This is far, far into the future from then, so... I suppose... Well, of course, I'm called Magnus, but is that my first or last name? Uh, who knows? Anyway, that's all I have time for for this episode. That was terrifying. So, if you want to take a look at the next video, click on the annotation, and I'll see you next time. See you later!